What's going on, you wild turkeys? It's Clutch Guando here, and I'm bringing some Rainbow Six gameplay for you today. And I just want to give a heads up that this game's kind of slow. I am kind of campy. Uh, I'm trying to communicate with my team for most of the game and just letting them know my position, where the enemy's at. And we weren't in a Skype chat or anything, so you guys can't really hear that, but just want to give a heads up for you guys. Call me a camping asshole in the comments. But that's not the topic in today's video. I just want to talk a little bit about this whole infinite warfare situation and all the news that's come out in the last few days and uh, I know <coughs> <coughs> excuse me and I know a lot of people have been posting about it but I just thought I'd give my two cents on the situation and uh, just my views on what Activision is doing and how I feel about all that and so first and foremost I want to talk about the COD 4 remaster I honestly think that, that that's awesome the COD 4 remaster is going to be it's going to be phenomenal, I can tell you that right now. One thing that I am kind of pissed about is they, they're they only bringing back 10 out of 16 maps, which doesn't really make sense if you think about it. It's almost like they don't have the resources to bring back all the maps, but let's be honest, they're, they're a pretty big company and they probably have designated teams to work on different parts of the game. I mean, they have, they have a designated team working on campaign, working on multiplayer, working on zombies now. And it, I think it's kind of BS that, that they can't bring back all the maps. So if they end up leaving out a map that uh, that was a fan favorite back in the day, I I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be pissed off, including myself. Which kind of, on a side note, I actually didn't start off on Call of Duty. I actually didn't play COD 4 until a couple years after it was released. And um, I actually sucked at it. Uh, first time I played it was at my friend Jacob's house. We would uh, split screen with him and his brothers. We would have sniper battles on Bog, which was also really fun. And that was the first time I, I had played COD 4. And then kind of stopped for a little while. And then I ended up playing it again later on when I got older. And um, now, you know, now I'm pretty into Call of Duty. And unfortunately, I, I tend to buy the games every year, even though they're kind of straying away from what Call of Duty used to be and what a lot of people enjoyed you know this fine bullshit where most most of the gun battles are people flying 50 feet in the air and you know these these people with scuff controllers have a massive advantage because obviously they can aim and jump at the same time so it's kind of BS but that's kind of like a sidetrack but anyway COD 4 remaster uh, some things I'm expecting from that obviously highly upgraded graphics I think that the hardware and the Xbox one and PS4 can do so much more than what the 360 was doing at the time so I think anything less than 1080p on both consoles is just it's unacceptable at this point I think the hardware can handle it and as long as the developers put in all the time and effort into um, into actually making sure that they get that kind of output you know with 60 frames a second as well then I you know I think we'll be fine um, but I think if they change too much, even though it is a remaster, I feel like they're gonna make a, they're gonna make some tweaks to the game, and I think that could be good or bad. I I honestly really don't know at this point. Um, they've kind of fucked up Call of Duty in the last couple of years. I mean, look at look at Advanced Warfare. I mean, honestly, I'll tolerate Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three is it's fine. It's better than Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was just atrocious. I mean, the first time I played, I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Yeah, you can. You can use these EXO movements. It's it's new. It feels refreshing. And then you know it just got old. When Black Ops 3, it's just getting old. I'm tired of. I, I just want modern military shooter, a modern military shooter, and um, you know something that requires skill. I feel like Call of Duty is lacking a skill gap. And there's there's so many things that they just need to start doing right in order to gain their fan base back. And well, I guess I shouldn't say that. Um, a lot of people are going to stay fans and a lot of people are going to buy the game regardless because it's Call of Duty and it's, it's got that reputation since COD 4 where since if it has Call of Duty in the name then people are just going to buy it so it's kind of shitty but I mean what can we do about it they're they're a big company and it's kind of BS but <clears throat> um, let's see some things I want out of Infinite Warfare when that comes out to kind of move off of the remaster or the COD 4 remaster. Um, what I want out of Infinite Warfare is boots on the ground for sure. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I think it's bullshit. Um, how many gunfights? Wow. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was around the wall and this guy shot me with this magnum. Let's see this. Hold on. We need to watch this. Look at this. 
Look at this. I'm around the wall. How did you shoot me? Please tell me. Please tell me. Man. <laughs> massive, massive work on the netcode in Rainbow Six. But, um, what was I saying? Boots on the ground, for sure. I I'm tired of people flying 50 feet in the air and having every gun battle feel like that. And, you know, honestly, getting feeds in this game, in, in Black, not this game, but Black Ops 3 or Infinite Warfare is, is nearly impossible because you got... A person walking or running through a doorway and then if you kill that guy there chances are there's a guy running on the wall there's a guy jumping a hundred feet in the air and then you know it just it kind of makes it a really hard situation if you're looking to get feeds uh, additionally I want the classic cod feel and I think that goes along with boots on the ground I feel like they just need to go back to the roots and go back to what what made Call of Duty fun to be honest, I raged a lot less at the older Call of Duties than the new ones now because there's just so much bullshit in the new Call of Duties that it's it's almost unbearable at times. I mean, one of my friends, he's probably going to watch this video, but one of, my, one of my friends, I don't know if he was playing Call of Duty, but uh, he actually broke part of his headset because he threw it on the ground. I'm pretty sure he was playing COD. And I'm pretty sure, you know, there have been a couple of times where I just want to ninja star my, my controller right through my TV just because I've been so pissed off. But I don't do that because I have self-control. <laughs> And, you know, I'm not a crazy bastard, but that's besides the point. Um, also, balanced gameplay. Balance is one of the hardest things to do in Call of Duty, I feel like. I, I, I think the tweaks that they've been making in Black Ops 3 have just, they've made no sense. They I, I think they've gave, given some buffs to the to one of the shotguns. I can't remember the name. I don't, I don't play Black Ops 3 that much anymore, but to one of the shotguns, God, I can't remember what it is. Um... Damn. Yeah, I can't I can't think of the name, but they gave a buff to the shotguns, they gave a buff to some of the submachine guns, but nerfed the Vesper, which is kind of weird. Now it's kind of obsolete. Nobody really wants to use it. I don't use it. And funny thing is that's my that's my gun that I my last submachine gun that I need to get gold before before I uh, can get diamond diamond submachine guns. But balance is key, I think. And it's going to be pretty hard, I think, if they have advanced movement again. I think it's a lot easier to balance a game where, you know, it's just modern a modern military shooter. I think it's a lot easier to balance the game that way, because um, then you don't have to you don't have to worry about all this this extra movement that's going on. I'm kind of going off on tangents, but um, another thing. Uh, outside the realm of what I wanted of Infinite Warfare. I think it's bullshit how they're bundling COD 4 with, in, with Infinite Warfare. It's obviously, that's obviously their selling point right there. Nobody's going to be buying Infinite Warfare because, oh, it's Infinite Warfare. Here, let me let me buy the new game because it looks awesome. No, nobody's, nobody's going to do that. I can guarantee that right now. So many people are complaining about how the newer Call of Duties are, or the way the new Call of Duties are. That there's no way no people are going to actually buy Infinite Warfare for Infinite Warfare. And it's, it's even more bullshit that we're paying, let's see, what, what is it? I think the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare is $80 or something like that. It's, I think it's $80. Um, but we're paying, we're paying an extra, let's see, $20, $25 after tax, I guess. Maybe closer to $30, I don't know. But for for a game that doesn't even have all the multiplayer maps in it tell me how that even makes sense that's uh, they're kind of ripping you off too it's stupid and you know honestly i feel like if they weren't bundling cod 4 remaster with infinite warfare infinite warfare would, would just sell terribly because so many people are complaining about about the setting of the game let's come on it's in space it, it's in space i don't know if you guys seen the trailer but there are people flying around in fucking rocket ships having gun battles i'm i'm almost positive that that's only going to be uh, exclusive to campaign if that translates over into multiplayer and I see that there's there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be buying the game there's just there's no way there's no way I'm gonna be buying the game it's it's as simple as that but I mean if you guys uh, if you guys agree with me let me know if you don't that's cool too I really don't care but I just want to hear what you guys think, what you guys want out of the next Call of Duty, how you guys feel about uh, the COD 4 remaster being bundled with Infinite Warfare, and looks like it's kind of early to finish this commentary, there's still a lot of gameplay left, but there's a pretty good, there's a pretty good clip coming up towards the end of this, I think it's, let's see, I'm going to wait and see what happens.
I think it's coming up. I think I clutch it with this pistol and it's gonna be awesome. Let's see, walking. Walking. I think I tried to shoot this guy through the wall. Yeah, yeah, right here. I tried to shoot him through the wall like an idiot. <laughs> There's reinforcements on it, you clown. What are you doing? Boom, headshot. What are you doing, kid? You're sad. Let's look at this kill cam. He had a he had an assault rifle too. He got wrecked. I don't even know how that happens. Garbage, bro. Look at this. Look at this. You're sad. You're sad, bro. You're so sad. But that's the end. If you guys agree with me, let me know. If you don't, that's cool. Uh, it's been Clutch Kwando, and I'll talk to you guys later.